Hello and happy holidays. This month is the height of commercialism and I'm a total sucker. So here's a list of some, oh, turn the air off, turn it off. The AC always turns on. This is a list of some gifts that I would quite literally buy for people or be happy to receive. They all have pretty quick shipping times. It will depend obviously on where you live in the world. I know there's a lot of international viewers here, but there's gonna be ideas here for everybody. Some, some stuff you can give, some experiences, some stuff you do not have to wrap, and some stuff that's free. There's gonna be some silly things, a little bit of decor stuff, because it's, it's sort of a, a design channel. I don't know what this channel is. And I will be linking everything in the video description. Duh. I feel like what should go without saying is that you can also obviously do last minute shopping in person in stores, um, but that's specific to where you live. So we're focusing on online for this video. Number one is this tartan blanket. I, if somebody gave me this tartan blanket, I would absolutely slap them in out of joy. It would be a, a loving slap. I'm so obsessed with a tartan blanket, like everybody loves a throw blanket, but this is not so generic and they have so many different colors here. The Tartan Blanket Co. You can like get one very customized to match someone's particular space, make it really thoughtful. I'm really obsessed with this. Okay, some more serious gifts that I absolutely would buy. I kind of want to get these for myself. Super, super long candlesticks. I need to get a tape measure. I'm really into like 18, these are 18 inch long candlesticks, taper candles. I feel like giving somebody actual statement candles is a better way of doing the candle gift. Here they are on Crate and Barrel. I've also seen them on Amazon, ships very quickly in a million different colors, super, long but you can customize them again to someone's space and it's not just a whatever candle it's like a statement piece it's a decorative piece i saw a designer i love shannon claire putting these like super long candles in front of a mirror over a fireplace and i just loved it and then you can also pair it if you want to bulk the gift up a little bit i really love these like muted tone glass flared daffodil glass taper candle holder i'm losing my mind over these to receive like a set of these candle holders and the can giant candlesticks, I'd be over the moon. It's like a whole decorative piece, pretty easily incorporated into anybody's home. But these are like a little more youthful, a little more fun. I feel like a little more mid-century. Yeah, sold. Okay, I have to show this. This is not a quick ship item. This probably wouldn't come, if you're ordering now, it may not come until January, but I'm so obsessed with these. If you're seeing somebody in January after the holidays and you want to give them a gift, these are some of the coolest things I've ever seen. I would be so, so happy to receive one of these from someone and it is more personalized. It's more of a statement, but like still an easy gift. I'm gonna take a step away from commercialism for a second and suggest two great gifts that won't cost you any money and usually go pretty dang appreciated. Don't, don't hit me for saying this, a heartfelt letter. We can go our whole lives and make it to our deathbed and never have told people what we appreciate about them. And of course they know I love them, but it's just very different to take the time to write it down. It's almost even more effective to do that with someone maybe you have a difficult relationship with. I don't care if you're fighting all the time. I don't care if m most of their existence pisses you off. If you care enough to like give them a gift, there's something there worth relaying to them that's caring, that's loving, that's appreciative. Put it in a letter. And I'm not saying don't give them a gift. Like, you know, I think it's nice to show that you're willing to spend some money on people as well. Chances are you can't even imagine the impact it will have on them and how much they'll appreciate it. And that's a lasting gift. So I recommend. This is really a gift I've been giving to myself recently and also to my loved ones. <laughs> this is obscene, but um, group hugs. I've been really into group hugs recently, especially with people who are very um, averse to them. This is what I do. We're at a family gathering, a couple of us are talking, having a nice time, but you know, maybe you're with those people that you're like, eh, I don't really know what to say to this person. Every once in a while, I will just start screaming group hug. I'll just start screaming it and insisting on it. And you know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna force anyone into group hug. You need consent. But people usually are just like, 
taken by the moment and they want to be in a group hug it's so bizarre that everyone starts kind of laughing and giggling and nobody i don't think i've met anyone who didn't enjoy the tenderness and the silliness and the intimacy of that moment with a bunch of people you love I don't know, it's disarming and everyone's a little uncomfortable. We don't have to have anything else in common, but I love you and I like to spend time around you. Group hug, right now. When somebody asks you, when someone's like, you didn't give me anything for Christmas, you can't be like, I gave you a group hug, like that's not gonna fly. But it is actually the real gift. It is so much better, like having a moment like that is a real gift to me. And I'm gonna say it's the best gift to everyone else too. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that. I really recommend just start um, screaming group hug. It's pretty weird. And that's what the holidays are about. Weird shared moments with people you love, but like don't really know how to talk to. Okay, another thing that I think is great to give for any gift is something like a luxury or indulgence that you would enjoy, but you probably wouldn't buy for yourself. So personalized little leather makeup bag. You can get it engraved, like initials or whatever engraved on this buckle. Something like a nice quality makeup bag. I would use that every day, but I just wouldn't buy it for myself. They have like a mini one and they also have a larger one in different colors. I think this is genuinely a beautiful bag and like who wouldn't want to have that? I'd be delighted, a Christmas delight, or a holiday delight, whatever you're buying this for. Another great last minute gift is to do an experience together. That's great, A, because there's no ship times. Usually, you know, you buy a, a ticket to something or you organize an event. It also can be way more meaningful time. It can be really personalized and you're also like giving somebody the gift, <laughs> the gift of time with you. You're welcome. But I like this especially for parents. What do they, what, what do par people stop needing stuff after the age of like, what's one year older than me, 32. Give me stuff for one more year. And after that, I don't need anything. And I used to like spend a ton of money on stuff for my parents and they just wouldn't even really use it. But I find it makes everyone happier to do like an experience and then maybe give them some consumable on the side chocolate in addition to like an event we're gonna go to together. Obviously there's a million different ways you can look up events in your area. See, I used Eventbrite. Well, for example, I signed uh, my mom, my sister and I to do this wreath building with cocktails for her birthday actually. My mom is like also very crafty and that's something that we share together. It doesn't have to be like a groundbreaking event. They're basic events, they're basic, but that's not really the point. The point is that you're customizing it and like setting aside time to spend with someone. I find that parents are into it. Another nice experiential thing you can do if you have, I feel like this is great with a friend, you know, you have a friend who's like been dying to go to some cool restaurant in town or a fancy restaurant or whatever it is, they all have gift cards. Get them a gift card and pick the date so that it's not like, we're gonna do this sometime, like pick a date. You know, write them a sweet little Christmas card, holiday card, whatever it is, Hanukkah card, I don't know. And say, we're going on a date, you and me on this day to this restaurant and you give them the gift card. Or that they can take their significant other, give them the experience. Okay, enough with the quality time, let's get back into stuff things. Another great combo item slash experience you can give somebody, especially great for families. I love a board game. This game, my family loves it. It's very fun. This is a great game because it involves lying, deceit, shame, and it's very easy to learn. My family plays this game all the time. This is a great game. Chameleon. Okay. All right, don't get me started on this. This, listen, this probably can't be a whole gift to somebody, but this will change their life. Maybe this is more of a stocking stuffer, but if you know somebody who's like obsessed with hand, hand creams, like my mom is, she will buy the nicest hand creams. And then I got this for her and she bailed on other, all her other hand creams. This is like the most hydrating, best rich emollient I've ever used. I use it on my lip, it's literally right here. I use this as a chapstick as well. It comes in smaller forms in like chapstick form. I also use it on my hands all winter, like before I go to bed. This is the best hand cream, chapstick, anything. This is, you know, this is not a gift for everyone, but if you want to change somebody's life, give them this. And again, not sponsored, just, I'm just a big fan. Okay, moving on to more important gifts. I 
somehow came across these slippers with Danny DeVito's face on them. And absolutely, I know several people right now in my life who would be delighted to receive these. It's a little personalized. It's obscene. It's a statement. I actually found a lot of Danny DeVito gifts I was really excited about. On Etsy, I found these. <laughs> these are like shrinky dink earrings with Danny DeVito's face on them. Absolutely, I'm giving that to someone this, this holiday season. Don't force Danny DeVito on somebody who doesn't want to receive Danny DeVito, but I know lots of people who would be really happy with these slippers. Okay, it's, it has to be the right fit though. This is a controversial item, but 1000%, there are multiple people I would give this candle to, and they would not be people who are getting married. I, it would specifically go to somebody who is painfully single, um, but can take a joke. I like to give some joke gifts that are still, I don't like it to be 100% a joke. I like it to be personalized, maybe a little hurtful, but also functional. They can use the candle. This water bottle from Free People, I actually did buy, I think for my mom last year. It shrinks down, what the heck? What the heck? I love this. I feel like it's really nice for hose on the go. I think it is nice to receive a scarf. A scarf is kind of in the like generic candle territory of gifts, but if you give a, it has to be a great scarf, like an amazing scarf. I'm obsessed with this scarf. They have the option for expedited shipping. Yeah, comes the next day. This is a cutting board that you can customize. And of course, I think most people like get a name or a date engraved on it. Ships within 24 hours, love it. 24, interesting. I, if I was getting this for somebody, I would probably have something like moderately obscene written on it or like an inside joke or like a weird nickname. I don't know. I would just like try and put a fun twist on it. You make it personalized to them. It ships super quickly. Okay, those are my last minute gift ideas. It kind of sucks the pressure of giving gifts so much at the holidays. It like, it's a lot. I hope this is a helpful list. I hope it inspired you to do something a little creative, a little personalized, but still low effort. The best gift you can give anyone this year is a shared laugh and um, a shared experience and letting them know that you care about them. You care about them enough to want to get them a good gift, whether you're actually able to find them a good gift or not. Heads up, I think there will be, what's my schedule? What's my schedule? Let's look at the schedule. Ooh, girl! There will be a good video next week. Not that this one wasn't good, but next week's is a big one. Next week, there will be a video coming out on the 24th, a very, very long awaited video. It is part two of the guest bedroom makeover that I posted. If you haven't watched part one, go watch it. This is the, I think by far and away, the favorite room makeover I've ever done. It's one of my favorite projects I've ever done. It's been about a year in the making waiting for part two to come out because there are so many delays, but it's out y'all, or well, it will be on the 24th. Tune in. And then there will probably, I think there will not be a video on the 31st. Probably not. I'm probably taking a break because I will be traveling with my family over the holidays. Happy New Year. It's been an amazing year here on YouTube. I feel like I've grown a lot. Why am I always giving a speech? No one's ever asking me to give a speech, but who cares? I feel like I've grown a lot and it's been a lovely, exploratory, creative, and rewarding experience. Thank you all for making that possible. Whether you're celebrating something or not, I hope you have the loveliest month and I will be seeing you next week and then not the week after and then again in the new year. Okay, you're the best. Love you, miss you. Ta-ta. You can also find me on the Not For Everyone podcast, accompanied by my best girl, Jess. It's a great time that's equal parts deep and reflective, as well as frivolous slash pointless. You're gonna love it. Find it anywhere that you find podcasts, and I hope you have the happiest holiday.